welcome to The Little Holding. We're Grace and Ryan. We've been documenting our homestead journey on this channel for nearly a year now, and we can't quite believe how many of you have clicked that subscribe button. Thank you. If you're new to our channel, then you can expect to be watching us grow lots of veg in our vegetable garden, doing plenty of DIY, cooking up some tasty meals, and the occasional cute clip of our son Arthur, our chickens, and our dog Juno. Happy New Year. So we've got Ryan's brother over for a few days and we're gonna go for a walk. He's also got his girlfriend here as well, which is really nice. Um, he did like a really long drive here. Um, he's quite young and he did like a massive long drive from Newcastle to here last night, or not last night, the night before. And then they went to Bristol yesterday and so today it's quite chilled. Um, and yeah, we just thought we'd go for a walk to Cheddar Reservoir, which is where, which is actually where Ryan did like a little sailing course and stuff. I've never been, so I thought it'd be nice. There's ducks and stuff, so Arthur will probably love it. Um, I thought I'd like film a little bit for the memories, but share it with you guys too. Also, what do we think of my glasses? I shared them on TikTok and people said that they liked them, but you guys could just be being nice. So what does YouTube think? Um, yeah, I quite like them. I got them from Ace and Tate. Uh, I needed some new glasses and I'm trying to wear them more because I definitely need them and I find myself squinting a bit too much <laughs> which we could probably do without for the wrinkles um, yeah so let's go for a walk <laughs> little update on the uh, food van um, that is that is my flooring I've cut out all the pieces I have oh I have painted them in varnish paint bitumen everything to try and make them as waterproof as possible that looks pretty cool so uh, oh, that's pretty black um, hopefully waterproof as well but yeah it's all good I've uh, welded my door hinges on um, there and there just painted them so they don't go rusty um, the chassis is finished I painted it all um, and then I'm gonna once the paint's dry on the flooring I'm gonna stick it all in and then I've got some vapor barrier and then my flooring and yeah I've got a lot of hay bales to get rid of <laughs> Thank you. 
been a few days since we've sown our seeds. We've only sown a few because it is very, very early. The main reason we've started so early is because chilies and peppers seem to take forever, and celery as well. Um, and so we wanted to get a head start, basically, on the growing season. We use our conservatory for like, having all our seedlings and everything, but we run out of space very, very quickly. So it helps to stagger, start chilies, peppers, aubergines really early. And then when it comes into like tomato season, we can like pop the chilies and peppers on and then there's space for all our tomatoes. So we've basically got peppers here, chilies here, cabbages, I think we've got, what else have we got? We've got some celery, we've got some onions. I don't know what onions though, my mum sewed the onions. You saw her hand, she was doing all the sewing and I was doing all the writing up. So we try each year not to order too many new seeds, but if you're a fellow gardener, then you'll know it's the most exciting time of the year <laughs> when you can choose all your seeds and buy lots of new ones. Um, but this year, well, and last year, we tried to save a lot of seeds. So yeah, we didn't buy too many, but we did buy some from She Grows Veg and her seed packets are so beautiful. Um, she is on to a winner there. When it comes to what we're growing this year, we're not really um, changing much apart from adding in some new tomato varieties, some new beans and some new chilies. That's about it. We are growing for the first time ancho peppers slash chilies because Ryan uses them a lot when he's cooking like Mexican food. And with the food van coming along nicely, I say nicely, I'll show you in a minute and you'll be like, hmm, doesn't look like it's changed much. Trust me, there's lots of work going on behind the scenes. But with that and the plan to cook tacos and things, ancho chilies will be used a lot and we want to grow as much of our own veg as possible to use in the food van or at least letting our own veg lead the way so that we know what's seasonal and what's not because we want to try and be as seasonal as possible but that will come with its own challenges I'm sure so that might not happen but that's the plan <laughs> and you can't blame us for trying okay our plan for today is that Ryan's moving lots of hay bales in the barn because the barn has basically gotten a bit gross where the hay bales have started to rot from my sister's wedding. Don't ask me why we still have the hay bales in the, in the barn. I'm not really sure. They've started to grow mushrooms and everything. It's just one of those gross jobs that you don't wanna do, you know? But we are now going to be using them as mulch um, for our little wooded area where we want to stop grass and weeds from growing. And then they're gonna use some of it probably around our birch trees and things. Anyway, happy new year, guys. Let's get going. <laughs> still can't believe that our channel is growing as much as it is right now. We are gaining so many views, we're at 4,000 subscribers, which is just wild, so thank you so much for that. It's funny though, because we're having loads of new subscribers that obviously don't follow me on Instagram or um, TikTok or anything like that, and they're all new people finding our channel, which is so cool, um, they don't know why I've got on hand, so I thought I'd just do a little explanation, because I've had a few messages, quite a lot, um, yes, I've got one hand, I was born like it, it doesn't really stop me from doing much, um, <laughs> and that's all I've got to say. No, I feel like since moving here, I've found a few things that I struggle with a bit more, um, and since having my son, Arthur, but, you know, it's a constant learning game, and I feel like parenthood's like that, and moving to like a homestead's like that anyway, so maybe I'd still have those struggles, just in a different way, so... Yeah, oh, you know what I do need to work on though is my fitness. I feel out of breath. Dad, have you been moving the hay? Mommy. Yeah, baby. Mommy, do it. You've been moving the hay? In the tractor. In the tractor? Yeah. On. On? I don't think so. What's daddy? What's daddy doing? being so helpful.
filming is you always have to run back for the camera. today and so Ryan obviously thought let's do some building work outside to be fair we are running out of time on this food van so are we? yeah you said in our last video that you wanted it done before April and if you want it done way before April you've got to hurry up no it's not January is nearly finished I really like the accessory of the uh, bird poo. So this is just like the bottom layer of the floor, right? Yeah. Then there'll be loads of other layers going on top. Yeah. Yeah. Insulation, waterproofing, all sorts. Daddy! Arthur! Baby! You are a baby. my uh all right don't judge me my floor is in it all fits um i just need to paint i'm going to paint the top of it don't worry I know, I know that bit looks it looks a bit lonely doesn't it um but i will i will paint that as well but yeah that's uh that's what we've been up to um thank you for watching as always and yeah back to back to my real job I say real job, my my desk based job that I actually get paid for. Back to that. Thanks for watching, subscribe, see you next time.